Hello cellists, this is your C major two octave scale. You should have already done D major one octave and G major one octave. And so now we're just going to add a full usage of the string. So we start just like we did the other two scales on the C string. Same fingering. That's one octave. Should sound familiar to you by now. But we don't stop there. We go onto the D string. G134, D124, A12, 1A421, D43, 1G431, C. It's YouTube, so you can go back and watch it over and over again, see if, if, if you didn't catch it the first time. Let's try four to a bow. The neat thing about four to a bow C major is that all of our bow changes will be on an open string. So here we go, open C, open G, open D. Checklist, forte freeway, T bows, side of the hair, not top of the hair. Right, straight elbow wrist pinky, bent thumb, arched fingers, no collapsing. Okay? Bent thumb over here. Lots of foundational things that you should be looking at while you play this two octave scale. Um, let's give it a try. Eight to a bow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> students will do separate bows and then separate bows and two to a bow and then separate bows two to a bow and four to a bow and then usually two four and eight we drop separate bows after a while because it's redundant um, but getting that two four and eight every day do this scale as many times as it takes to get it in your left hand um, so deeply that you can play it eight to a bow without having to think very hard keep your fingers down get across all four strings uh, C major, two octaves, a lot of a lot of fun. So happy practicing, chalice. Thank you.